Adam 3K 3K. I used to think that those retro YouTubers got everything. Good collection, good friends, and a good life. Upon further inspection, I discovered that not all is what it seems. Some of them don't even have their own place. Some can't afford stuff, like box springs, and resort to e-bagging while others have no life. Thank the good Lord every day for my collection that I built from nothing with my own money. A nice place to live in. Friends and family as well as my small pets. My life is better than a lot of big YouTubers. The difference is my channel is a lot smaller, but that's okay because I do what I like without the stress of not knowing what Google may do with YouTube tomorrow. The point is, you are most likely in a much better place than a lot of those e-beggars. Be thankful for what you got, and don't be deceived by those wizards of odds. People on this platform generally tend to judge you, uh, believe it or not, not on your content, not on the substance. They don't judge your channel on anything but how many subscribers do you have. When I tell people that I'm a YouTuber, the first question usually out of their mouths is, oh, how many subscribers do you have? You know, it's not even really like what you do or what it's about. Like, what's your numbers? What's your numbers? Tell me what your numbers is. And we have a system where uh, most of you probably haven't even been to Adam 3K 3K's channel. But, you know, he's got some great videos. You know, I did a radical recommendation on his channel a ways back. The thing is, Adam's doing fine. He's okay, and he blesses the good Lord every day for his life for his collection, for his small pets, for his family, you know, and I'm happy about that. The sad thing that I see a lot of the time is you have a lot of these YouTubers, you know, like Radical Reggie, and you know, you just know that they're really not doing that great. Now, sure, he's an e-bagger, but there's a little bit of sympathy when I see somebody that is kind of living that way. It's a little bit of a difference, you know what I'm saying? He's not exactly a master manipulator, you know. It's just obvious this person has an addiction. A lot of these YouTuber uh, game collectors, they have an addiction. And you have other people that they idolize and look up to. How many people right now? Are there anybody right here on the channel maybe that just stopped by because, you know, maybe... Uh, they clicked on a Metal Jesus video, then this came up in their feed, and they came here, and they're like, you know, Rick, you're just a, a terrible, terrible, jealous individual, right? They have no idea about me other than the fact that I, you know, do critical satire from time to time. They don't know that I'm incredibly happy for the most part in my life. I mean, I have my, you know, bloating issues and other things like that. But, you know, I'm at a point in my life right now, kind of like Adam, where I'm really happy. You know, I am very thankful for everything that I have. So I made a joke in the last comment of the day that, you know, I'm not stressing. I had like a little cat or a dog, like looking at a computer screen, looking at their analytics. I'm not stressing about this, this Google stuff, this YouTube stuff. I'm not. This is fun side hobby. I know I sometimes get really involved in it. I understand I get really passionate about some of these uploads and everything, but it's not, it's not needed. It's not necessary. And Adam, you know, you talk about the deception. Uh, they need to, even if they're not in good places like you and me, they need to set up a front like they're doing great, you know, like they're happy, like, and some of them are, I'm sure some of them are, but not all of them are metal Jesus. Not all of them are making 10 grand a month. You know, some of them are really up against it, really up against it. And they're trying the hardest they can do to compete and hang with these other channels. They're in the rat race. But a lot of times it's just a race to the bottom. It's a race to the bottom. There's so many of these people that, that they actually quit their jobs when they hit like 50, 60,000 subscribers. That is insane to me. But they're in that rat race. They're in that rat race. But chances are, if you stop here and you got a full-time job, you're probably doing a lot better, to be honest, than a lot of these people that are out of work, that are unemployed. Believe it or not, you probably are. Because these people, a lot of these people are in the bubble. And if there's news that came down tomorrow that YouTube had some more, you know, ad policies that they were changing, um, for me, you know, 
uh, yeah, this is a montage channel, but it wouldn't affect me that much. A lot of this, like I said, wouldn't affect me that much, but there would be so many YouTubers that would just go insane. Oh, oh, there's a new apocalypse coming. What they don't get is a lot of people, a lot of people that come to their channel, they really couldn't give a flying flip because they just got off of work and they come home and they're watching their channel and, and they want them to have sympathy. Well, well, how about this? To a lot of them, maybe they should probably think about getting an education. Uh, I saw that viral video. Uh, somebody left a link the other day. I don't have the time to make a separate video about it, but this this links into this. Remember that one person that was on Instagram, that one woman that uh, I think people reported her account and she had that viral video that was crying. Uh, you know, she's a woman that gets on Instagram and she's a model and all that stuff and she makes a lot of money because she posts pictures on Instagram and all that good stuff. But she was crying and she basically had a moment to where she was being honest. At least she was being honest and she said, oh, I don't have any skills. I don't have any skills. Uploading pictures of myself is all I can do. I'm not anything like all of you. Uh, people like that. There's a lot of people like that, believe it or not, that are on the YouTube platform right now. That are so scared. They're so afraid of having to go back to work or going to school. So uh, in, it, it's bad in a way what happens on YouTube when you have a lot of uh, enabling too. So that's another reason why I don't like a lot of people that donate all this money to these YouTubers because they're basically just enabling this. They're enabling uh, what I think is, you know, in many ways, addictions. Not just the game collecting, but the addiction they have to YouTube and their self-worth, tying their self-worth to YouTube. Believe it or not, a lot of these YouTubers, you know, they, they probably cry themselves to sleep every night that they get, didn't get an extra thousand views on a video. And that's sad, right? But, you know, in a way, you can look at this channel. A lot, a lot of people see me as hateful. But in a way, you can look at this channel as maybe some medicine for a lot of these people. Maybe I will get to these people after a while. And I will show them, at least the ones that, you know, are, are running around here making 10 grand a month. But to the ones that are on the bubble, you know, I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot here that they can get from me and people like you, Adam. And maybe they can help improve their lives for the better.